So this is uh, round two with the WSP. Uh, the WSP uh, Fougere Noir. Noir. I think that's how you say it. I looked it up. Uh, I hate pronouncing words wrong. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shave with that. I'm also going to shave using the, let's see if we get it right, Philharmonica. I love this razor. I took the scales off and I refinished them. Uh, I made these about six months ago and the, I didn't like to finish on them so I, I, uh, I refinished them. Today, since the Broncos are going to be playing the Patriots, I'm going to use this. Uh, and that's about all I can do for those guys, <laughs> those guys man. They, uh, Osweiler is doing really super good. Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, I think that they just, they're just they going to have their hands full. Get some of this blue water on my face. That. So you guys met my pal uh, Trapper. He's a pretty cool guy. He actually, uh, I sold him a razor, and he got a, and and uh, actually, I'm going to stop this film. Nice feature. I didn't have that on my other camera. Uh, this is my new uh, my new uh, phone. Anyway, I sold him this from because he's a beginner, and I gave it to him for really cheap. But he works in the car painting industry and also paint motorcycles. He does all the prep work and he got some chick to pinstripe his scales. And then they put on a, uh, a clear coat and baked it at like, uh, I think he said 120 degrees. Uh, but it's really came out nice. I mean, it's real interesting and unique. The only thing about it is they put the clear coat right over the pins so I can't tighten it. It's, it's, a, it's loose is what it is. See that? It's loose. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, that was, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, look at, look at some of the detail, huh? Uh, so anyway, that's his razor. So uh, okay, got the bloom water on. I'm going to go ahead and do some Planned Parenthood shootings, Colorado Springs, huh? They they call the they call the guy a, a madman, and I would have to agree. Uh, but I got to tell you something. I was just watching uh, uh, State of the Union, and there's a woman on there who's who's a, a political commentary. She says. Every woman has a right to get an abortion. And I disagree with that statement so much. Of course, I'm a Christian person. And uh, I think and I know from being alive for 55 years that some women use uh, abortions like birth control. There's no appreciation. It's for life. I mean... You know, and I can see, I can see how someone can get mad. I think he's like way overboard, but still, it it, it infuriates me also. But you know, something that's uh, <clears throat> when they come out with videos where they show uh, doctors taking live babies that are almost full term out of the womb, and the doctor says, "Keep this one alive. We have to harvest the organs." And they suck the brain out. They puncture its skull and they suck the brain out while it's still alive. It is just beyond, in my mind, anything what that shooter did. Because I love children, man. I mean, I just do. Uh, I think they should be protected, and I think that uh, that the abortion clinic should be closed unless it's like a emergency. But can you imagine? being out in the world and just meeting some chick and you think she's great and then you find out she's actually working in an abortion clinic helping doing something like that that would just that would just blow me away sets it up like crazy huh 
hands, flipping around like icy, like a hockey puck on ice. So let's see if we can get a good lather. We know we will. I love this scuttle, man. A little more water here. So. Uh, I was going to shave with my Solingen Othello uh, that I've been trying to sell. Uh, that razor is just top notch. Every one of my razors are just super clean. Uh, uh, no rust. Just just perfect. The metal, the metal on the ones I have now are is just absolutely perfect. So I think I'm going to keep the Othello. Dun, dun, dun. Guess I should get my glasses on, but it's all right. Let's brush. Uh, this is the brush that I put together. And the only thing I don't like about it, it's kind of ugly, but uh, I didn't set the knot deep enough, and it splays out way too much. And it's kind of sloppy. But, such is life, right? So, all right, let's break out the Philharmonica 14. Just waiting for Ramos to do a shave video. Uh, on the twin turbos. for my wife to walk in. She's not there for her daughter. This phone looks better. Turned around so I can see the screen, but the screen is just so wide. It's nice, really nice. I like it. Anyway, her son has got like a narcissistic personality, pain in the ass, which is just, I'm not a clinical psychologist or nothing, but, you know, sure seems like he's narcissistic to me.
gotta love these big blades, I'll tell ya. Yeah, especially this one here. This is the one I got from uh, uh, overseas somewhere, Czechoslovakia or someplace. They sold it to me. It kind of, it came in this really nice wooden coffin. And the coffin, all they did is is just quickly wrapped it in bubble wrap, stuffed it in an envelope, and about three weeks later, it arrives at my door. And I open it up. And the thing was in perfect condition, man. Not a scratch or a dent on that coffin. I was actually surprised. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had the nerve to do that. Anyone who's gotten a razor from me knows that I put everything in a box and bubble wrap and everything. Let's do round two, huh? My ex-wife had a borderline personality disorder. And she was so narcissistic, she couldn't understand. Well, anyone thought she was wrong. And she did some damage, boy. Yeah.
should have my glasses on. So one guy that was here, Trapper, looks like he's shaving pretty good. He's he's loving it. Uh, so when he comes back over, I'll give him some soaps and stuff. But I've had a customer that came here, and every time he come, he had like three or four cuts on his face. And this went on for like six months, and I just said, you mean to buy those razors back for me? I'll give you this damn DE. <laughs> Cutting my beard on the shoot. I don't think that this soap is as good on your face as tallow based soaps. I mean, it's great soap, but as long as I've had soap on my face today, I can feel I can feel a little irritation. See, there's I'm crooked right there. Get off with my hand so I don't get it on my wash towel and then on my face. So it feel like got got it right there yesterday. It just you know I can feel some irritation right there though. I know it's not for my blade. So I guess we're going to go get some Guinness beer and something for the game tonight. I'll play an evening game. I'm not going to do the... I forget what that, what that pass was where you go up. Suicide pass, dead man's pass, something like that. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm in a little bit of a situation with that girl because, you know, she she knows how I feel about that kid. If he comes in here, I'm gonna I will start a fight with him because I just he was he just is so rude you wouldn't even believe it. It's good as we as we treated that kid. Some of the bitch mooched off us for you know five years, man. That's like that's ridiculous. Uh, that's ridiculous. And I told her to stay the hell away from him. I don't want you talking to that guy, nothing until he grows up a little bit. And, and there might be a lot of people out here who's going to judge me for saying that, but you know what? You don't know the situation. Mm 
you don't know, you don't know, you know, what happened in, in over the course of five years and how much we supported him while he went to school. And uh, to have him do what he did, which you're never, probably never going to know, warrants an attitude from me. And still, he keeps putting himself in the worst possible position in life. And still, his mother wants to give to him and support him and pour money out to him and all this shit. And it's like, you know, if she's going to go over there without me knowing about it, I'll know about it. And there will be a change, a big change. Uh, okay. Hell with my problems, you know what I mean? Let's do, uh, you know, I'm going to do, I was, I was bragging to uh, Trapper about the Stallion. I love this scent. My wife thinks it's too strong, so I want to put on a double dose. All right, man, this is Gentleman's Edge. Guy Solis here in Denver, Colorado, opinionated as all get out. Later.